Are you looking to upgrade your microphone game? Let's take a look at the Alvoxcon A800 and see how well it performs. In the box we have the user manual and a thank you card. A plastic tripod with metal legs and rubber feet. A plastic converter to mount the microphone onto the tripod. A one and a half meter USB-A to USB-B cable. A wind filter and the A800 microphone. It is made completely of metal and has some decent weight to it with it coming in at 310 grams. It is 1.96 inches across and 5.5 inches from top to bottom. On the front we have the volume control, there is no mute button available and there is a 3.5mm audio jack where you can plug in earphones and monitor the sound. The USB port is located on the bottom and the one thing we noticed immediately is how large the base is and that it is not going to fit on a standard scissor arm. The plastic holder for the microphone does have a hole which should allow it to be mounted but depending on which scissor arm you have you may need a converter for this. And the tripod isn't too bad but it does seem a little flimsy compared to the weight of the microphone where if you knock the back of the tripod then it will topple forward unless you have the mic tilted quite a way back which puts more weight on that back leg. There's no need for drivers so you just plug this into your computer it'll get detected automatically and when the blue LED light lights up inside the microphone you know it's time to rock and roll. This is the kind of audio you can expect from the A800 microphone and it is a cardioid pickup pattern microphone meaning that your best sound will come directly through the front of the mic. It will pick up some sound from the sides and it should pick up a little bit from the back but it should be reduced. This is us speaking directly into the front of the microphone. This is us speaking to the left hand side of the microphone. This is us speaking into the back of the microphone. This is us speaking to the right side of the microphone. And we are back to the front. We currently have our window settings on 100% for the microphone volume. On the microphone itself, we are currently set at around 25%, but we'll turn the volume up. We are now on 50%. We are now on 100%. And I think we probably need to turn it down a little bit. And we're back to around 25% volume on the microphone. This is what the sound quality is like without the wind filter on the A800. This is what the sound quality is like with the wind filter installed on the A800 microphone. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. 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 And here's some example audio from previous reviews that we've done, so you get yourself a bit of an idea of how well this A800 actually performs. And this is a test using the Fine Fine K678 microphone. Everything you've heard so far through the review has been directly from the Myano microphone. This is the kind of audio you can expect from the A800 microphone. We have set the mic levels to 50% on this one because it's very sensitive and if we do this at 100% it's just going to blow your ears off. Our audio levels are currently set at 100 on the PC and we're on full blast on the microphone as well. We currently have our window settings on 100% for the microphone volume. On the microphone itself we are currently set at around 25%. And for those PS4 users out there who want to know if the microphone works in their PS4, yes it does.